Welcome, this is Chidi Property and today we are going to talk about how to plan your building project part 1. In this part 1, we are going to talk specifically about why you need to hire a professional when you are, building, when you are planning a building project. It's very important. Many people don't in this area of the world where we live in. But why is it very important? Well, there are a series of problems that result when you don't hire professionals. When quacks are everywhere, although quacks seem to be the cheapest or cheaper in the surface, but later in the project, a lot of people suffer lots and lots of cost implications to the many, many mistakes that this quack makes. And so these mistakes can be avoided if you hire a professional. Why is it very important? Well, there was this hotel that was uh, uh, offered for sale close to the sea in the city here where the man actually complained bitterly about the engineer who did the project the man said that he spent about 18 million naira on the project and yet the project is not complete on the 100 by 100 property what could possibly be the problem it could be they, they did not plan well. It could be that uh, during the course of the project, there are some uh, small, small, little, little additions that they made in the project. So these additions can cost money. But one thing is, planning in the building project is almost the same as planning or making decisions in life. For example, when you want to make a decision to do certain things, you have to plot your, your path well. And when you plot your plot path and you made your decision, all of us know that you, there is no going back. So the same thing on your building project. Let's give you, let me give you an example of a project we did not too long ago, about, about a few weeks back, about two weeks. This man hired us and uh, he said he wanted to do a four bedroom apartment. The man was very, the client was very enthusiastic about the building project. He was very enthusiastic. So he, in his brief, he mentioned that the, the, one of the bedrooms should be exclusively for visitors with his own kitchen and toilet. In fact, it almost sounded like a self-contained apartment inside the four-bedroom apartment. If the design was made, it was very nice. But looking at the man's source of income, it was so low compared to the building he wanted to do. In fact, if he were to do that building, it would take up to 10 years to build it with his own source of income. So we actually advise this man to, at least, with the standard he wants, he should go for a lower project. At least three bedroom. And at least there are some uh, features of the building that at least should be cut off because of cost. Well, the man accepted. And... Uh, we have to go for a lesser project, a lesser project, not three bedroom apartment. But in three bedroom apartment, the man in his brief specifically mentioned that we should make the, the, the toilet or restroom very conducive. Conducive, he meant that a, a partition should be made for the, for the shower, a partition should be made for the toilet, and the partition should be made for the or the sink and your, your mirror where you do when you you know you come you come it's a restroom when you are confused or you, you understand you want to at least calm down in your personal space that is how you describe it and so one thing I would like I pointed I would like to point out about the project in this video is we have to make several visits to the client about these choices of spaces, materials, and different features of the building. This common three-bedroom apartment we did with him, it took us almost about three weeks for us to complete the design. Until finally he approved it and we did the hardline job. That is just one part. It is very important that you take your time, you know, take your time and plan with the professional. It may cost at the beginning, you know, when you just go and meet a professional these days and they cut bill for you, sometimes 
if you really if you really look at it, it's not just about them doing their job, but it's really about for your own interest. You know, you sometimes when you you tell them you want to do something, then they do it for you. All this quack I know, they just do it, pa pa pa, just sharp sharp work, and they do it for you. Later, your eyes will now be open to see some of the mistakes they do, and your interest. That will that did not come out in the beginning will start coming. Those your your choices start coming up, and you start making little little additions like the project we mentioned before. So it is good you take time to plan your project series by series, time with time. You know when you plan it, if eventually it may take up to a month, two months. Sometimes some people plan project for years depending on the size. So it is good you just take your time and plan. And that is what exactly we do at Shady Properties. You know, these at Shady Properties, we don't just go for the money. You know, we just look at your, this guy has a lot of money and we start billing you because of that money. We look out for your interest. We take our time to deliver quality every single time. And that is why you should contact us. Just hit the subscribe button and please, Wait for the next video. The part two, we are going to talk about how you are going to select a very good contract.